I'm Kelly and this is Juniper and we're going to show you the Webmaster Harness. The Webmaster is a secure, supportive, multi-use body harness, comfortable for both the everyday and the epic, especially if that includes a need for maneuvering and assisting dogs up and over obstacles. It's an iconic harness in our line and in 2022 we updated the construction with thin, durable, perforated foam that provides breathable support without hindering range of motion. Five points of adjustment make it easy to dial in the fit that's right for your dog, while padded chest and belly straps make it both secure and comfortable for all day wear. The Webmaster has two leash attachment points, a V-ring, and a reinforced webbing loop here on the back. And it includes reflective trim for visibility in low light conditions and a light loop for attaching a safety light like the beacon. All these features come together to make it the preferred harness of not only many avalanche rescue dog programs, service dog handlers, and amputee dogs, but also for dogs hiking, scrambling, or needing mobility assistance. It's available in four colors, blaze orange, purple rain, slate blue, and red sumac. It comes in five sizes based on the measurement of your dog's girth, extra, extra small to large, extra large. Juniper here measures 29 inches around her chest, making her a size medium in the Webmaster harness. So let's take a look at how to put it on and get it adjusted. Adjusting the harness before you first head out is essential for the best performance and comfort for your dog. It takes just a couple minutes, and once the fit is dialed, it's set and ready to go for all your future adventures. Just like with all other rough wear harnesses, we find it helps to start by loosening all the straps. Begin by opening up the neck area by sliding the adjusters toward the Martingale chest pad. There are three points of adjustment here, two neck straps and one chest strap. Then unclip the buckles on both the girth strap and the belly strap. Find the webbing tail on the belly strap. It may be tucked away in the pad on the strap. Work the tail's end to the adjuster and then loosen the strap by sliding the adjuster towards the buckle. Pull on the buckle to take out the slack. You may have to do this twice to fully loosen the strap. Follow the same process to loosen the girth strap. Now that the harness is loosened up, let's put it on the dog. Slide the harness over the dog's head positioning it with the martingale on the chest and the handle on the back. Guide the dog's right front leg through the opening and then buckle both the girth and the belly strap. Once the harness is on, you can begin tightening the straps. Beginning with the belly strap, pull down on the top strand of webbing until you can fit about two fingers between the dog and the strap. Then. Pull down on the adjuster to take up the slack. Repeat the process with the girth strap. For some, it's easier to unbuckle the strap you're working on, make a small adjustment, and then buckle back in. Any excess webbing tail can just be tucked back in to the pocket on the strap pad. To tighten the neck area, work the adjuster away from the martingale pad. A little tip is to hold the adjuster in one hand and pull on the top strand of webbing away from the adjuster. For a good fit, aim to have the harness sit just below their neck, over their shoulders like this, and the belly strap should be just past the rib cage. Overall, it should be snug while still being able to slide two fingers between the strap and the dog, and then you're good to go. That's it for the Webmaster. Thanks for watching and happy trails. Good job, Juniper.